I worked my whole life to get to this point. No one is taking this away from me. Brutal, is he the man who finally solves the pound for pound king's puzzle? This is Taylor made to be a war. Mayweather versus Berto, Saturday, September 12th at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, live on pay per view. Hello and welcome to In This Corner. I'm James Smith. This report brought to you by the WBC Open Glory, the Green Belt. Mexico, live it to believe it, and title boxing, gear up for greatness. Well, I'm certain this won't be my last time at the MGM Grand, but Floyd Mayweather says this is it. Saturday night, he puts his belts and history on the line, 49-0 when he takes on Andre Berto right here inside the Grand Garden Arena. So much on the line. Floyd's taken 20 years to build up this uh, unprecedented record. It took Marciano about eight years. Here's pre-fight reaction from Mayweather, Berto, and Berto's trainer, Virgil Hunter. Floyd, you've been fighting 30 years, actually. You count that amateur career. This is actually your 139th fight, if you go by the amateur career. 48 as a pro, 375 rounds as, as a pro. What has been, one word, the key to your greatness? Um... I'm blessed. Truly, truly blessed. Only thing I can say is um, I had a remarkable team. I had a, um, a great team that took care of business on the outside. My job was to go inside that square circle and just be the best that I can be. 1998, you win the WBC belt, the green belt. What has been the significance and a tremendous relationship you've had with them? That belt will be on the line on Saturday night. I'm currently the undisputed waterway champion, and I hold the WBC and WBA uh, junior middleweight titles. It's a lot of damn belts. I'm um, blessed. Like I said, truly, truly blessed. Um, I never overlooked any opponent. I never overlooked anyone. I just stayed focused, kept my eyes on the prize, and, and dedicated myself to the sport of boxing. If this is your last fight, do you plan any special wrinkles for Saturday night? Um, no, just to go out there and do what I do best. Um, be smart and be first. Talk about uh, Virgil Hunter and what he's brought to the game plan for you. You got a whole different voice than everybody else. <laughs> this, I look better, too. Yeah, you do. It's serious. Uh, uh, you know, Virgil Hunter, man, you know, like I say, he's just he's just a terrific trainer. I mean, every time I'm in there, you know, I mean, it literally feels like I'm in school, you know, learning. You know, we call him the professor. So, so um, you know, he's definitely been trying to, you know, make sure just to elevate my game in every type of way. You've been around this sport for years. I've been around the sport for years. We know that on any given day, in any given moment, that a fighter who does have way more than average ability, and Berto has way better than average ability. Like I said, he's never been a loser. He hasn't uh, accumulated the, the, you know, the name gatekeeper yet, so to speak. He's still in the thick of it. So he does have that ability, and particularly now that he's healthy, Smitty, uh, he could take it to another level. It's amazing what the body can do when the body is right and prepared to do, and, and I, I see that in him. I'm, I've been covering Floyd for 20 years, and one of the most important things, I think, to do against him is not let him lock into that damn radar. What are you going to do Saturday night so he doesn't uh, lock in his uh, Mayweather-esque radar? Just to stay in the game plan, stay focused, because that's one thing with him. You know, once he locks in and once he gets you off your game, a lot of guys get flustered, and a lot of guys just go just kind of go crazy. It's just the fact that you're just staying focused um, and just sticking to the game plan realistically. You cannot let him get control of the ring and establish his range and distance because, you know, you're digging a hole for yourself then. And you have to really be determined. You can't worry about who's winning the rounds at that particular time, you know. And, and that dynamic happens in between one and four. And he understands that, you know, before you can even be effective, you have to establish yourself as the owner of this ring and that's by uh, getting their distance and establishing your distance establishing your range before the other fighter does which allows you to become one step ahead of him so Berto cannot allow that to happen but at the same time he can't allow it to happen he can't worry about who's winning this round he has to be able to absorb the rough moments which is going to be the tough times which is going to happen and he's going to have to realize that this was going to happen, okay, but it can happen both ways. So he has to implement the same mindset that Floyd has. He has to claim the ring first, 
And once he claims the ring, then he has to defend what he claims. You see yourself training fighters. You obviously are a, a, a promoter. You have Mayweather promotions, but you're such a great technician in the ring. So much skill. Do you see yourself lending that to other fighters as a trainer like your dad? Um, I work with fighters every day. You know, um, and I'm pretty sure my father worked with fighters every day. You know, you guys seen him up on the podium today, but my thing is this. My thing is to be, you know, just sharp and smart. You know, um, you know, my dad is a trainer. You know, he likes he likes to trash talk, but that don't win fights. You know, he don't have to get in there and fight. I have to get in there and fight. So, um, no different from Virgil Hunter um, when he was talking about hood stuff and other other things that don't matter. When it's all said and done, it's about us fighting, and that's what's important. And to young fighters who are going to say goodbye to you, like all the fans on Saturday night, what do you say to young fighters who look up to Floyd Mayweather? Um, just stay focused. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the prize. You know, say, you know, say prayers. Stick with your team and stay focused. If you're gone, we will miss you. Thank you. Thank you.